What's good everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day today. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Now as of right now, I am back in Korea. I just got back about a few days ago, so I, I'm i slowly adjusting to get back to the time zone and the time difference because we are 14 hours ahead from the East Coast, so it's a little bit different. But as of right now, today is the 13th of April, which means we are getting closer and closer to this competition. So as of right now, we are 15 days out from stepping on stage, which is crazy because a day in two weeks is that's all it is. And then I'm going to be up there competing for my pro card through a IFBB league, which is like it just blows my mind as of right now. But um where i'm at right now i'm in the food court um waiting on these shoes right now so i brought my laptop brought my camera with me because today's gonna be a pretty big day as of right now i pulled up my laptop because today is a deadline to register for the competition so i waited till the last moment to decide what i'm gonna do and i'm sticking with classic physique i was bouncing back between physique and doing classic physique only because for classic physique i feel like i need more size but i'm just gonna step on stage give it all i got and see what happens as of the posing posing is very different for classic physique and and I order, already ordered my trunks for Classic Physique, so I was like, you know what, I might as well just go ahead and go through with it. And this is something that I really, really, really want to do right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have pulled up on my screen. So basically, this is what's going on. I have PB Pro League Korea, $250 just to register for the competition. Wow, this is crazy. Paid the $250, so now we are finally registered for this competition. So this completely blows my mind that just knowing that in two weeks I'm stepping on stage for another competition. This is big. Honestly, I wasn't planning on doing this competition at first. I was planning on doing another competition like a week prior, but I feel like just coming back and having a few more days to get ready for this competition, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step on stage and give it my all. But as of right now, uh, we have one more hour until the release of the infrared sixes come out on base because they did a restock and basically they brought them over here. So I'm just waiting in line. I showed up at 7:15 and I'm pretty much like, <laughs> just want to show you guys over there. I'm pretty much like sitting like the eighth person in line right now. So my chair is back behind this thing right here so i am excited there's so much stuff going on today and this is a pretty iconic day so basically i, I just paid for my my entry fee to the ifpb amateur olympia and then basically we're gonna get these shoes now these shoes like i a lot of people are like oh i saw jordan want wear them so i want them i saw whoever wear them so i want them and it's kind of like that same situation with these so like Creed came out, the movie Creed. So the movie Creed came out when I was like kind of on my deployment phase. So I was getting into weightlifting, weightlifting, getting strong, looking shredded and all that other stuff. So once I saw Creed or uh, with Michael B. Jordan wear the infrared sixes with the sweatsuit, with that Nike sweatsuit, I was like, yo, I need those shoes. So it's just something significant to me, something real small. So, you know, like the infrared release, I had to pull up with something infrared with it. I have uh, some infrared Roshis on as well. So, you know, I had to do like a slight little flex, you know. But hopefully, I'm gonna go ahead and get back in line and hopefully in an hour or so, when the shoes or when the store actually opens up, I can have them in my hand. So, let's see. Sorry, no 12. Uh, 11 and a half. I'll try 11 and a half. Oh. Did I get a 9? 9. 9. 9. Hey, thank you. I'll look around. Hey, don't pass sir, sir, number 7. Number 7, please. Number 7 or so. Alright, 
so I just got to like a good stopping point because I just didn't feel like walking all the way to my room before I saw these shoes. So I stopped at the Mustang, which is like a little cafe over here. They sell like donuts and coffee. So I'm gonna put the camera down and show you guys the first reaction from this unboxing. And it's crazy because I got these for $160, $160, and they retail for like $250. So shout out to the BX for coming through. Alright you guys, I'm gonna put these away. I'm gonna head back to my room. As far as what goes on today, I'm gonna hit a little cardio, get on the Stairmaster, like always, because we are only 15 days out from our competition. So the grind doesn't stop and we don't stop. So So for those of you who don't know, before I head back to my room, I just went on a vacation and I left Korea for a little bit. They just give you 30 days to leave and go wherever you want in the world as long as you pay for it and get there and come back in time. So I chose to go home par primarily because primarily because my friend's wedding was coming up and I was like, yo, I'm going to be there for that moment. So I was able to go home, live with my brother. My dad took me to a car show was like on point the cars over there were amazing and then I did end up pulling a 510 pound deadlift which isn't my max but it still felt amazing amazing even on this cut because you know like when you go into like caloric deficit you're supposed to get like weaker and weaker but for some reason I'm still able to pull 500 on deadlift so it's been an amazing trip and I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the room get changed up, probably do some laundry, clean up a little bit, and head to the gym. You know, like when you do pull down. <laughs> you're gonna drag it back, but as you're dragging it back, you're squeezing all this right here.
I hope you guys are having a great day today. Welcome to day two of the vlog. I'm just now getting home from work. Uh, today was supposed to be a lot shorter than what it actually was, but it still was a good day. Today was pretty busy and it kept me on my toes. One thing I did do that I totally messed up on is I just ate way too much today. So uh, one of my buddies, he was like, yo, you're eating a lot today. And I didn't realize it until I track everything in my fitness pal, which is an app that I use to track all my food and track my macros as far as what I'm doing for the prep. And yes, I ate way too many calories today, and but it's not bad calories. I had way too much protein, so my protein count for today is like really high, and I shouldn't have ate as much as I did, but like I said, today was like pretty, pretty busy, so I was just going and going and going, and then if I got hungry, I was like, all right, let me stop, let me make something, and let me just go ahead and eat that. So today, I didn't realize it, but I had five chicken breasts, and I'm like, why did I do this to myself? I had, to start off, I had diced up chicken, I put it in a container, and then I brought it with me to work, and that was about maybe two chicken breasts. And then for lunch, I had an additional three chicken breasts on top of my salad, so my protein count is like seriously like crazy high right now, so I'm gonna cut back on it for dinner time. We are just now about to go ahead and get changed up and go to the gym, because today is a leg day, so, I just want to go ahead and put the camera down and I'm going to show you guys an actual live view of what my legs are currently looking like right now. Alright, so yeah, like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick overview of what my legs are looking like right now. It's crazy to see, especially in good light, because when your legs are kind of dark or when your legs are dark, you can't really see as many striations or as much separation until you get into like a decent amount of light, which I basically to make the lighting a little bit better i just turned off my overhead fan and i just mostly just opened up my blinds just to let some of that natural daylight come in but it wasn't too much light to where it was like overpowering and completely bleaching out my legs so you were able to see a little bit of muscle a lot of muscle hopefully and to actually see the different separation and the different muscles working in my leg now Flexing your leg is not something easy like it took time and it takes a lot of effort pretty much I have my mirror right here So when I just wake up in the morning I can just walk by the mirror hit like a quick flex and then start getting ready for work And I found that to be very very useful when I'm trying to get ready for this competition because I can flex in this mirror It's a full body mirror So I'm able to see from head to toe what I want to portray in that mirror I think it would help a lot if I had another mirror in the back, but as far as right now, as far as getting ready for this competition and I spent way too much on the entry fees and buying my my briefs, my, my trunks for the competition was already 40 bucks, so that's the most expensive pair of underwear briefs I ever spent in my life just for one pair. So that's coming in the mail. We still haven't received it yet. So hopefully it gets here sometime soon. But like I said, we are on our way to go ahead and get changed and get ready to go. I can't speak today. But like I said, we are going to hit a leg day today. So this is day two of the vlog. So I think I'm going to go ahead and close this video out right here. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please comment down below. If you guys have any suggestions, list it down below or inbox me. Follow me on Instagram. But thank you guys for following, subscribing, commenting, and I'll catch you in the next video.